गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो आई एम वेरी मच हैप्पी टू शेयर विद यू दैट वी हैव क्रॉस ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर ऑन दिस चैनल एंड अवर स्टडी मटेरियल इज यूज बाय अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स अ लॉट ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर यू दिस नेट एंड गेट एक्सपीरियंस इट ऑल्सो मेक्स मी फील गुड अबाउट दैट नॉट ओनली अवर स्टूडेंट्स हैव क्रेक्ट यू जी सी नेट एग्जामिनेशन और गेट एग्जामिनेशन बट ऑल्सो गॉड प्लेस इन प्राइवेट एंड गवर्नमेंट कॉलेजेस अबाउट सिक्सटी स्टूडेंट्स हैव क्रेक्ट देयर गेट एग्जामिनेशन एंड यू जी सी नेट एग्जामिनेशन इन द लास्ट अटेम्प्ट इंक्लूडिंग फोर जे आर एफ सो इट्स अ प्राउड मूवमेंट फॉर एस एंड एज यू a student of limitless literature as you are a follower of limitless literature a friend of mine a student of mine i am going to share with you everything from where i have created the study material that we are providing to the students it is a small contribution from my side to pay back the large community of english literature if you cannot afford to go through any coaching classes or to purchase the material that we provide to the students you can simply refer to these resources and make down your own notes and prepare accordingly but in case if you want these 13 booklets you can simply visit our website limitlessliteration.com and place your order there are around 13 booklets that we provide in the material and as a student receive the courier as the student receive the speed post receive all these booklets i personally help the students to go through these material on every day basis through whatsapp messages or call so i'm going to share with you all the resources from where these booklets have been curated now without any further delay let's begin with our first subject that is british literature the main source from where i curated this booklet on british literature is from three books rutledge history of english literature william jelong and william hudson mainly william jelong and william hudson is something from where we curated the notes on british literature apart from that i have referred to internet to elaborate the history of british literature the history of important events that happened in the history of english literature it is really important to understand the social political and economical background of what's going right from the beginning from the age of chaucer to age of modernism and post modernism literature is a mirror to the society and without understanding what's happening in the society we cannot understand or what all are the works that are presented to us in british literature and so i have referred to these three books and then from the internet to elaborate all the important events another thing that is mentioned in the booklet are the literary moments the most important literary moments in english literature every year there are one or two questions that come from literary moments i have covered all the 25 to 30 important literary moments on the youtube channel you can simply check the playlist of all these 25 to 30 literary moments and make down the notes on it you can check the link in the description below of this playlist on literary moments now let's get on to our second and third booklet that is based on important british literature works and the third booklet is important poems in british literature talking about these two booklets what i did was i created a list of 187 important works in british literature by going through 15 to 20 years of previous year questions all these 187 works are enough for you to prepare your british literature you can simply check this list of 187 works in the description below this is a free list of important british literature and important works and where you will find the poems and the works like beowulf sir gawain and the green knight canterbury tales utopia the anatomy of melancholy every man in his humor the alchemist walbone and everything right from age of chaucer to age of elizabeth victorian modernism post modernism all the works all the poems have been covered in this list download the list of all these 187 works that is what i did i made two booklets important british literature summary important british literature poems and just put out all the summaries and all the important details in these two booklets that we provide in study material and then coming on to our next booklet that is miscellaneous booklet we have covered the topics like 100 best opening lines 100 best closing lines booker prize pulitzer prize nobel prize magazines dictionary and bible we have covered these six topics in our miscellaneous booklet and the primary resource that i refer to create this booklet is through internet you can simply search 100 best opening lines you will get the 100 best opening lines on google you simply search nobel prize in literature booker prize in literature pulitzer prize and you will find all the list of everything on google simply copy and paste or simply make down the notes in your notebook and start revising 
द फिफ्थ बुक इन अवर स्टडी मेटीरियल इज कम्प्लीट थ्री थाउजेंड प्लस इंग्लिश लिटरेचर यूजिस नेट एग्जामिनेशन क्वेश्चन द गुड थिंग इज दैट ऑल दिस थ्री थाउजेंड क्वेश्चन आर अवेलेबल ऑन अवर वेबसाइट फॉर फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट यू विल फाइंड ऑल द क्वेश्चन ऑन एवरी टॉपिक लाइक जियोफ्री चौसर एडमन स्पेंसर जॉन मिल्टन जॉन बनियन और टॉपिक्स लाइक ब्रिटिश लिटरेचर ड्रामा ब्रिटिश लिटरेचर नॉवल्स एंड देन लिटरेरी थ्योरी अमेरिकन लिटरेचर लिटरेरी क्रिटिसम सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ आई रिमेंबर इट टुक मी two months to organize all these topic wise questions and that is available free of cost only for you refer these questions once in a while to harness your ability to understand what type of questions come in english literature examination now let's come on to our sixth booklet that is literary theory and cultural studies uh, to make this booklet in our material what i did was i referred to two resources the first is pk nair's literary theory and cultural studies and then i used a course on literary theory that is available on swayam website the title of this course is introduction to literary theory and it is taught by professor sayan chatopadhyay of iit kanpur i went through this complete book of pk nair's literary theory and cultural studies i made down the notes i compiled all the notes in the study material and then i went to uh, this course of sayan chatopadhyay's literary theory uh, there are around 35 lectures i went through all these 35 lectures made down the notes and again compiled them in the booklet that we are providing so you can refer to these two resources also pk nair's cultural studies and literary theory book and then the theory uh, the introduction option to literary theory that is available a course available on swayam website go through these two resources and that will do the work it is more than sufficient for you this net literature the next seventh booklet in our study material is on literary criticism and the source from where i created this booklet is from wikipedia simply search it on wikipedia you will find the literary criticism page simply scroll down to the bottom of this page and you will find all the literary critics right from the medieval period to 20th century literary criticism simply refer to this wikipedia page write down all the writers write down all the works that is mentioned in this page and go through some detail from this page and that is all for literary criticism always make sure that side by side you are going through the previous year questions on any subject that you are making the notes on and try to cover the theories try to cover the subjects which is already been asked in the previous year questions this is the only source and the best source that is available for you to prepare your literary criticism the eighth and ninth number booklet that we are providing in our study material is on english education in india and language and linguistics i simply refer to the study material that is provided by indira gandhi national open university to curate these two subjects there are around 15 to 20 books that we are provided as a student of igno and then from these 15 to 20 books i studied these two subjects i made the notes and compiled them in our study material all these books are free of cost available on the website go to the website and start making your notes on these two subjects apart from that i have been through a course on applied linguistics again from the swayam website applied linguistics provided by rajesh kumar iit madras and that will also help you to understand uh, linguistics subjects in detail but again uh, the booklets provided by igno study material is more than sufficient for you to prepare these two subjects english education in india and language and linguistics now quickly come on to our 10th booklet that is african literature and the writers the list of writers are easily available on google simply search african literature writers on google and you will find a complete list of all the african writers write down the name of these writers and the works they have published so far no need to go through any writers in detail simply write down the name of the writers simply write down the works associated with these writers and then what you do was you simply go through the previous year questions of african literature find out the works that is asked in the detail write down the name of all the novels that have been asked in the previous year questions and then go through simply the summaries go through the summaries no need to cover any work in detail simply go through the summaries and that will do the work for african literature two to three basic questions always come in ugc net examination or gate examination or any other examination from african literature this resource is more than sufficient to prepare this subject now let's talk about our 11th booklet that is american literature to curate this 
American literature booklet in our study material what I did was I simply referred to a book that is available on Amazon the title of this book is American Lit 101 from Nathaniel Hawthorne to Harper Lee and naturalism to magic realism the book is very basic it just have 200 pages and it is very basics it will not take you much time to cover American literature and you can simply create the list of American writers from this book create the list of works that is associated with the writers simply go through the summaries of these works simply go through the biographies of these writers no need to read the actual text summaries will do the work three to four questions always come from american literature and look at the previous year questions you will surely find all these three to four questions are very basic in nature so now let's get on to our 12th booklet that is on indian literature which is very much uh, close to the heart of indian students because indian literature students are very keen to know about the context the literature of the country that they are living in there are always three questions four questions or at maximum five questions that come in ugc net english literature from this particular subject Indian literature but when we talk about other examinations like PGT examination PhD entrance test or gate examination we find a lot of questions coming from this particular subject for instance in gate examination almost 13 questions out of 45 questions come from Indian literature that is around 30 to 35 percent of questions come from this particular subject Indian literature so what I did was to make the booklet on Indian literature in the study material uh, what I did was I referred to two websites two articles the first is 63 notable writers and poets to discover Indian writing and then another one is 75 best Indian authors and their books in English I refer to these two writers I wrote down all the poets all the authors all the writers that are there in Indian literature from these two articles and then individually I started working on these writers from Wikipedia or Google and then do not forget to go through the details of the important works like Raj Mohan's Wife by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee, Untouchable, Kantapura, Waiting for Mahatma, Cry the Peacock, The Strange Case of Billy Biswas, also go through the works like Midnight Children, The Shadow Lines, The Trotter Rama, Icy Candyman, The God of Small Things. And at last go through Riot, The Hungry Tide, English August, The White Tiger, The Inheritance of Loss, and another work by Alan Silly. Also try to cover the works that is asked in the previous year questions by simply visiting our website limitlessliterature.com. Cover the writers like Raja Rao, uh, you can say R.K. Narayan, uh, Salman Rushdie. All these four to five writers are important. Cover the works of these uh, four to five writers like Anita Desai, Kiran Desai, so on and so forth. Alright, so the last 12th and 13th booklet that we provide in our material is on Australian literature or European literature. The same things which I have discussed in all these uh, 10 to 12 booklets how I prepare these 10 to 12 booklets you can simply go through the same following procedure by following the same procedure make the notes on European and Australian literature the same way searching it on Google searching it on Wikipedia there are not so many writers in European or Australian literature Canadian literature not so many writers are there in these two booklets so this is how I curated all the 13 books booklets that we are providing in the material in our study material i have also mentioned all the resources from where i picked the notes and made down and gathered down in our material fortunately many 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 students are cracking their set examination pgt examination getting government jobs also by studying the material that we are providing if you cannot afford you can simply go through these resources that will do the work make sure to write down the notes from these books from these resources and read them again revise them try to understand them once in a while and make your maximum effort in revising in retaining the information that you are writing down in your notes so this is what all i have to share in this video i hope you found the video worth your time if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel for more updates on english literature that's it for this video thank you